The great complexities of the human temporal bone did not appear at once, but rather evolved in gradual stages. The splanchnocranium in the first vertebrates included elements which would ultimately become the styloid process and the auditory ossicles. The chondrocranium, which developed later, included the proodic, epiotic, and sphenotic regions, which would ultimately become the petrosal portion of the temporal bone. The dermatocranium, which appeared in the first osteichthyans, would include the squamosal portion of the temporal bone and the angular bone. In sarcopterygians, the squamosal and otic regions became larger. In tetrapods, the otic region ossified and was linked to the dermatocranium. In amniotes, the petrosal formed around the ear. There was a quadrate bone and a jugular foramen. In synapsids, the zygomatic arch formed around a synapsid opening, allowing for larger jaw muscles. A number of bones around the temporal bone were lost, and a new jaw joint was developed in the early uh, mammals, in which the temporal bone articulated with the mandible. The quadrate and articular bones, which were no longer needed as a jaw joint, were then modified for hearing and incorporated into a space inside the developing temporal bone. The petrosal bone formed from two components, and by placental mammals, an auditory bulla then formed around the middle ear.